Hi everyone! Welcome to our channel. This is the last part of our Divisibility Rules video lesson. The tenth rule is the Divisibility Rule of 10. A number is divisible by 10 if its last digit is 0. Let's have this example. 980. Its last digit is 0, so it is divisible by 10. Let's divide. 980 divided by 10 is equal to 98. The quotient has no remainder, so it is divisible by 10. The 11th rule is the divisibility rule of 11. A number is divisible by 11 if the difference of the sum of its alternating digits is divisible by 11 or 0. Let's have this example. 6,237 The first set of alternating digits are 6 and 3. The second set of alternating digits are 2 and 7. Now, let's add the alternating digits. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Finally, let's subtract. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. According to the rule, if the difference is 0, then it is divisible by 11. Now, let's divide the given example. 6,237 divided by 11 is equal to 567. The quotient has no remainder. Therefore, 6,237 is divisible by 11. Let's have another example. 86,812. The first set of alternating digits are 8, 8, and 2. The second set of alternating digits are 6 and 1. Now, let's add the alternating digits. 8 plus 8 is equal to 16 plus 2 is equal to 18. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now, let's subtract. 18 minus 7 is equal to 11. The difference is 11 and it is divisible by 11. Now let's divide the given example. 86,812 divided by 11 is equal to 7,892. There is no remainder so it is divisible by 11. The twelfth rule is the divisibility rule of 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is both divisible by 3 and 4. Let's recall the divisibility rule of 3 and 4. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digit is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the number are divisible by 4. Now let's have this example. 564 Let's check first if it is divisible by 3. Let's add the digits. 5 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 15. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, it is divisible by 3. Now time to check if it is divisible by 4. The last digits are 6 and 4. So 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. Therefore, it is divisible by 4. Since 564 is both divisible by 3 and 4, then it is also divisible by 12. Now let's divide the given example. 
564 divided by 12 is equal to 47. The quotient has no remainder, so it is indeed divisible by 12. The 13th rule is the divisibility rule of 13. A number is divisible by 13 if the remaining two digits are divisible by 13 after doing the following steps. First, multiply the last digit by 4, then add it to the remaining digits. Repeat these steps until only two remaining digits are left. Afterwards, divide the remaining two digits by 13. If there is no remainder, then it is divisible by 13. Let's have this example. 2,782. The last digit is 2, so 2 times 4 is equal to 8. The remaining digits are 2, 7 and 8. So 278 plus 8 is equal to 286. Now let's repeat the process until we finally get a two-digit number. 286 wherein the last digit is 6 so therefore 6 times 4 is equal to 24. The remaining digits are 2 and 8 so 28 plus 24 is equal to 52. Finally, we have the two-digit number which is 52. Now let's divide. 52 divided by 13 is equal to 4. Therefore, 2,782 is divisible by 13. Let's check. 2,782 divided by 13 is equal to 214. There is no remainder, so it is absolutely divisible by 13. This ends our Divisibility Rules video lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell and the like button. If you have questions and suggestions, type your comments below. Please don't forget to share this to others. Thank you for watching. Bye!